Lewis. Today I'm designing my uh, overflow system uh, for my tank. Um, my friend Nick is actually making an aluminum piece that's going to stick out and then it's going to have a rubber union and then that's going to go right there like that. Now, as you can see, the overflow has a breather, but the breather has a hole right there, right? So we don't want bugs getting in there. And here we have uh, these little coqui uh, frogs that they're really small frogs. They love water. So if I leave this like that, they'll, they'll definitely get in there. So to prevent that, uh, I'm going to show a trick uh, how to make uh, the screen for here uh, without doing something that looks sloppy. Like I've seen people using the nets and stuff like that, which is okay and it, it does work. But I'm going to show something that's aesthetically uh, more pleasing and cheap. Okay, I'm inside the shed. Now I'm going to show you the magic. Okay, this is a two and a quarter stainless steel lavatory strainer. Okay, this is for your bathroom uh, sink. And this piece right here, I think I have an open one right here because I'm doing this one handed. Here we go, we have one open. Uh, this is stainless steel, as you can see. Two and a quarter stainless steel laboratory strainer, right? So what we're going to do with this is check this out. If it's perfectly in there. Okay. You see that? That if it's perfectly in there, then you cut a skinny PVC piece. You slip it there with the glue, let it dry. And there you go. You have a perfectly sized uh, screen for a two inch uh, uh, breather for your uh, rain harvesting system. So that's a tip. So loose out. Back as you can see it's raining. So I'm working inside the shed. I'm making the pieces for the breather for the rain harvesting system. Uh, one of the things I like to do is I take the little strainer and I put like a little bit of the PVC glue in there on the sides right here. And then I just drop it in and that'll just give it extra stability right then i drop this piece right on top of it and it stays there pretty good i did the same thing to here this one i put a little bit of glue just so it won't wiggle and jiggle and you know it'll keep the bugs out uh and that's the breather and this right here this is going to be for the overflow this is the bottom part where the water comes out but the reason i also put a strainer there i don't want ants or any type of bugs uh, going in there, so that's my application. So lose out. My friend Nick just finished bringing me the custom-made piece. Uh, this I put it, install it from the inside, and it sticks out like that. Then I just cut it, put a rubber union, and from there uh, I install the breather. Now I'm just gonna make four holes there. Bend this back a bit, you know, just to take some of the contour and uh, bomb it with silicone and uh, put some screws on there. Okay, so loose out. Back, this is the piece processed. I just bent it back a little bit uh, just to have a bit of the contour of this right here. I have to make this hole a bit bigger because uh, this is a tiny bit wider. Uh, I believe than a PVC, but just by a tiny little bit. Uh, that's why I use the rubber union there. So I'm just going to make this hole a little bit bigger and uh, put silicone. Uh, I have stainless steel bolts for the little holes there. Uh, I'm going to be using wing nuts just to make the install a bit easier. Uh, this is the inside of the tank. It's pretty big. Uh, that's a float valve right there. Just in case anybody um, has heard me use the term float valve. What this does is, let's say uh, I'm taking water from the main harvesting system or the municipal water. Uh, water comes out of here. Then as the water goes up, goes up, goes up, it'll just stop right there. 
and I adjust it so it could stop pretty much about half inch underneath the overflow. That way, you know, it, the water won't just keep on overflowing uh, towards, uh, you know, the outside, you know, me throwing away water. So let me continue. Okay, the install is done. This is aluminum, the bolts. I put wing nuts just to make the install easier. Uh, everything has silicone. The only color I had was white. But uh, yeah, this is gonna work. Uh, if it keeps on raining, uh, hopefully I get this done today because on Saturday and Sunday it's going to be raining a lot. I want to see how much water I collect uh, during Saturday and Sunday. So, loose out. Okay, I'm almost done. Uh, the tank is pretty much, see, the elbow is, when water comes down, water is going to shoot in like this, not straight down. That aerates the water a bit more. Uh, that's exactly how I want it. This is already glued in and tightened up. Uh, the last little bit I have to do now is the overflow. Okay, this is already done. It has the micro mesh right there. Uh, now a piece of pipe with an elbow, some unirack, I mean a uh, unistrut uh, down here and a piece of unistrut right here and then it's going to be a pvc pipe that goes down elbow and it shoots the water out this way that's gonna be the overflow i'm gonna see how much water i collect on saturday and sunday uh it started raining today so uh let's see how much water i get just in case anybody wants to see what i'm using i use clear primer okay the transparent uh, primer just for aesthetic reasons you know the purple stuff is for commercial use uh, that's for when they inspect they see the purple and they know you use the primer and stuff like that but since this is a DIY project and I like aesthetics I, I like the job to look good I go with the transparent primer uh, when it comes to all my PVC install everything I always use heavy duty clear, okay? I never go cheap, heavy duty all the time. Do so. Uh, this is ready to collect water. It has, look how good this came out. This is the overflow, everything with Unistrut. Uh, the aluminum piece that I put there, look how good this came out. I think I have to tighten up one of these. No, that's pretty good. Uh, and I need a half inch to half inch hose from here. I accidentally bought uh, the incorrect one. Uh, and for now, I'm using this crappy hose. Once I'm done, I'm gonna be putting a two uh, inch PVC with a cap in the back and then one of those pieces that you can remove like that. Uh, like right here and that's pretty much it for now like I said I'm using this uh, hose just to divert water this way uh, and that's it I'm pretty much done let me just step back so you can see how good this came out I still have to pick up all this crap and clean up but this came out really good this is 100% not a half-ass job uh, this got done really good. This is ready for hurricane season. Uh, I'm planning to put like two metal doors that open up like this and one the other way like that. So yeah, and it's going to be grabbed. I'm going to put a, a piece of two by two right here and then I'll probably built in the hinge right there with a pipe. It's going to be like really nice and solid. I'll probably even make the doors like removable, like for maintenance and stuff like that. Uh, I like thinking about all that type of stuff. So Lewis out. Okay, I temporarily put this hose uh, here just to put some water in here from the main rain harvesting system. It's been raining like a lot, 
so I was gonna see how much I know what this is gonna collect water on the weekend I'm just gonna fill it up halfway taking some of the water from the main rain harvesting system uh, that way there's room over there because it's at a hundred percent it's just gonna be overflowing so I might as well just take advantage of that water throw some of that water in here and just continue who is out now from here it's going into here this is from the main rain harvesting system the water is going to go in really really uh, clean because it's going right now through a sediment filter so there we go so Lewis out okay the overflow is uh, too high I gotta lower it so I'm just gonna take apart uh, this uh, bolt right here lower the float valve to about there and uh, that's how you adjust it so let me get started turn the water on and the float valve is off I just finished turning the water back on uh, the float valve is off as you can see it's not throwing no water through there uh, that's it now I just finished tightening it up put the cap uh, the lid back on and we have a fully functioning system so Lewis out okay I got the last hose uh, in uh, now it's complete complete I'm gonna turn on the pump breaker and let it charge you had to turn it on just to get rid of some of the dirty water that first comes out the flux and stuff like that uh, but here it is this is the complete uh, finished product check it out a 12 volt pumping system that's a C flow uh, three gallons per minute wait let me just leave it on still has some air in it but check it out Okay, moving water in buckets, that's for suckers. Lewis out. You know, I'm gonna hear about this. There is nothing wrong with hot 